Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use Black Seed Inc. to back up and protect the private keys of your cryptocurrency wallets. So let's get started. I'm here on the Black Seed Inc. homepage. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below. Now, Black Seed Inc. is a product which is used for recording and storing the private keys of your cryptocurrency wallets. It has nothing to do with electronics at all, right? It basically is just a medium for writing down the backup phrase of your cryptocurrency wallets. Now, it can be used for many different kinds of cryptocurrency wallets. Almost every cryptocurrency wallet has a backup mechanism, and it is usually generated in the form of a human-readable 12 or 24-word recovery phrase. Now, this is just a representation of the private key of your cryptocurrency wallet. Now, it can be a hot wallet like MetaMask, or it could be a hardware wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor. But all of these cryptocurrency wallets have one thing in common, they have a private key which gives you access to the cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency is not stored in wallets, it's stored on blockchains. But the way that cryptocurrency wallets work is that the private key is held locally by the user. It gives him or her access to the cryptocurrency that is on the blockchain. So whenever you initialize a cryptocurrency wallet, it generates a backup phrase for you. Usually you write this down on a piece of paper and then store it in a safe place. But storing a cryptocurrency seed on a piece of paper is risky because paper burns, paper fades, paper can get water damaged. So there's a lot of weaknesses to writing down your cryptocurrency backup phrase on a piece of paper. So I'm going to unbox a Black Seed Inc. cryptocurrency backup system, and then I'll show you how to write down your phrase and store it in a safe place. All right, so I have the Black Seed Inc. product here. Pretty nice little box. All right, so we'll just pull it open. All right, and as you can see, I've got the metal stylus here and the metal plates, and then uh, there's a couple of screws here. So let's take a look at our plates here. So this particular configuration comes with three different types of cards. You can order the type of configuration you may want. You might want just seed phrases. Uh, you might want uh, one seed phrase and a couple of account cards. And then notice they also have uh, these app cards. So uh, for example, uh, for this particular card here, we would, uh, this would be for storing the, your cryptocurrency exchange account information like for example, your Coinbase account, the login, uh, username, password, and uh, master key for the two-factor authentication that would allow uh, yourself or your loved ones to gain access to this account if you were to lose your two-factor identification or your device, like your phone. And then they also have this card, which can be used for recording the information for any apps that you may have on your phone that have password protection or pin codes such as Trust Wallet or MetaMask Mobile or anything like that. And then this is the backup for your 12 or 24 word recovery phrase for a cryptocurrency wallet uh, that is self-custody. Uh, and there are lots of self-custody wallets out there. Uh, you've got uh, Ledger, Trezor, and then uh, more desktop-based wallets like Electrum Bitcoin Wallet or MetaMask. So you can use this card for storing your 24-word uh, or 12-word recovery phrase. You also have this metal stylus here, which you'll use for writing on the metal. You, you see you just basically scratch the words into the metal. And then you have these screws here that when you're done, you can uh, put these all together. If you look below here, you've got a little thank you card. You have uh, a nice cloth here for wiping away the metal filings after you scratch these in. And then you have washers 
for when you uh, put the cards together when you're all done. I'm going to do an example of a uh, seed phrase. All right, this is what a recovery sheet would look like if you backed up your uh, ledger device. Now this one is just an example. I randomly generated this. This is not an actual seed phrase of any wallet. It's basically an empty wallet generated randomly. So there is no security breach by showing you these words. I just want you to be able to see everything that I'm doing. So I generated a random recovery phrase for an empty wallet. There is nothing in this wallet. All right, but I'm going to show you how to go about recording this on the Black Seed Ink. We'll get the stylus, uh, we'll take this cover off, and we'll get started. All right, once you get the uh, phrase written down on your card, you can also include the pin for your device, whatever that pin happens to be. Now remember, uh, this is full access to all of the crypto on the wallet, right? This is the private key and uh, the pin to access the device. Actually, if the device is fully functional, then the pin is sufficient for a loved one to gain access to whatever wallets you may have set up, right? But you'll wanna have this backup phrase in case they can't locate the device or uh, something of that nature, right? Now, of course, this could be for you if you lose the device or the device gets damaged or something of that nature as well. Now, in, this, in the case of uh, this card, I would write the name of the app, like, for example, Trust Wallet, and then the master password to get into the wallet. All right, that's just a, an example of the name of the app and the password that gets you in. You might also have a pin code that will allow uh, someone that doesn't pass the biometrics to get into the app, right? A backup pin, All right? So that's something you can do to uh, ensure that a loved one that needs access to your phone and your wallets can use this information. And this would be something like Coinbase. This would be uh, your email. Now, also, if you have two-factor uh, authentication enabled on your account, they do give you a master key, which would uh, just be a code that someone could put into your Google Authenticator. Something similar to this that you've written down. And then you could also let them know that this is a... Right, you can indicate where uh, this device is and that it's... Uh, the name of the app would be Google Authenticator. So this would give uh, yourself or someone that needs access to your account all of the information they would need to get into the account, even if you had two-factor authentication enabled on the account. Now, once you have all this information, all right, you'll want uh, all of the private information to be on the inside, right, like this. All right, you'll want to unscrew this. All right, once you've got your uh, screws uh, in place, you'll probably want to use a flathead on this side. All right, and there we go. Now we've got it uh, safe and sound. And make sure that, you, that the uh, seed phrases are facing inward, right? so that it's nice and secure. Now, if you want, you could put it back in the box so that it's easy to locate for a loved one, like maybe put it in your safe, but you could also simply take the uh, black seed itself and hide it in a good place and then maybe write down uh, for a loved one uh, or with your lawyer or something like that where this device is located, right? because uh, it's a good, it's small and easy to hide. So uh, you want to put it in a safe place. 
All right, so that's it. Uh, I showed you how to get it unboxed and uh, what to write down in there that's appropriate. Now remember that this information is vital. This is the kind of information that would give anyone access to your cryptocurrency wallets. So please, please put this in a safe place. Don't tell other people about it. I wouldn't even tell anyone that you have one. Uh, until uh, it's absolutely necessary, like in your will or something of that nature. So it can be, you can use it yourself. If you lose access to any of your cryptocurrency wallets or exchanges, but it's uh, also very good for uh, letting your loved ones know uh, where and how to access any cryptocurrency assets that you have. Uh, like I said, I have the website linked down below give you uh, information on where you can purchase Black Seed Inc. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.